Hi there, once again, welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if this is your first time and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to calculate equated monthly installment. So let's assume you have a simple group that you have a loan that you contribute and pay. You can easily use this system to calculate how much somebody is supposed to pay at the end of every month. Okay. So let's see the person is taking a loan of 5,000 and the interest on the loan is 12% and he's taking it for 12 years, uh, four years. You can easily calculate the installment amount the person is going to pay at the end of every month. Okay. I'm going to walk you through this step by step and I'll be glad if you subscribe to this channel, share this video with friends and let it go viral. Okay. Just like as well. So that's YouTube will recommend this video to more people. Okay. So let's see how this is going to be. So let's see my friend is taking 10,000. So that's 10,000 and the, the percentage, that interest rate is 12% and he's taking it for four years. Then at the end of the month, the person is supposed to pay what? 263.34. If I change the duration to three, three years, that means the person is supposed to pay more monthly in order to meet that particular payment duration. So if I ch change this to three, you can see that means the person is going to pay more for that. So I'm going to walk you through. If you change the percentage as well, you should see adjustment to this. So if I increase the percentage, then what the person is going to pay should go up more. So let me change it to 15 and let's see. So you can see the amount the person is going to pay will go out. So I'm going to, that, so you can see the amount the person is going to pay is, is going up. So I'm going to walk you through how to create this step by step with no steps skipped. Okay. So what I'll do is that I'll show you how to get this file as well. Okay. I'm going to leave. Actually, I'm going to leave this file in the description so you can follow along. You don't need to go ahead and create this. But creating this is even simple. You can just use, you can just use the border and then use the fill color. Okay. Use the fill color to apply this color. So it's nothing so strange that you can do. So follow along and let's see how to do this. So go to the description of this video and download this file and then also practice this. I'm going to show you how to do this. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. So I'm going to clear everything. I'm going to clear everything for now. Nothing is basically going to work for now. So let's start everything step by step. Okay. So our formula is going to be at the, that's the EMI per month. That is equated monthly installments, which simply stands for EMI. So the formula is going to be easy. Everything over here will contain no formula. So let's just put, let's just put some figure over here. So let's say this is 6,000 and the person is taking a loan of 6,000, whether it's in dollars, it's in CDs, it's in Naira or whatever. Let's say the person is taking 6,000 and the interest on the loan, let's say that is what 15%. Okay. And then we come here, the duration. So you can say time or period and that is in years. So that is going to be, let's say the person is supposed to pay this for three months. Sorry, the person is going to pay this for three years. So I'll put, I'll put three years over and then you want to go ahead and note how much the person is supposed to pay every month in order to meet this amount payment with this increase in the three years. So let's go ahead and then calculate that. In order to do that, just type equal to, I'm going to use a formula, just type P, PMT. Okay. So this is the formula we're going to use. That's the PMT. And the first is the rates. So we're going, we're going to pick our interest rate, which is 15%. But remember, this is in years, so yearly. So that is going to be divided by 12. So we'll divide this by 12 and then bring, bring a comma. And I'll go ahead and also go for the period. So the duration, you want to know the duration the person is going to pay that. So just select that cell. And that cell is F, according to my own, is what? F6. Your own could be a different distance. So just go ahead. And the period is also in years, so times 12 as well. So we multiply this by 12, as you can see. And the last part is to get the loan amount the person is calculating. So you can see this formula, the formula I use is a bit complex, but I just follow this analogy. I'll leave the file in the description so you just study the formula and it's very easy. You can follow along. So We'll bring comma and then we'll now go for the loan amount. So we need to know the loan amount the person is taking. That is all you need to do. 
and close the brackets remember to like this video share and subscribe to this channel because i have a lot of giveaways and tips and tricks on this channel so don't miss that so just hit enter you can see it's now giving us what the month so if somebody should take six thousand the interest rate is for 15 and the duration is what three years then we can go ahead there may be chance where this you may have issue with this just go ahead go to your number column and make sure you're using numbers okay the numbers are in different forms so if you select it's going to give you negative figure which we don't want so just go ahead and then click on more numbers and then make sure you select what under numbers select the second option and click ok if it's in currency as well you see it will apply dollar sign which is by default but let's leave it as this so if it's in your country you know that if it's in dollars you are using dollars you know this is in dollars if you are using cds you know this is CD, cds if you are using naira you know this is in naira okay so let's leave it as it is and then per your country you know the currency to apply to this so basically this is how this is going to work if i should go ahead and update this the person decide to pay this for five years and i hit enter i can see then that means the person will be paying less for every month this is just an amazing video and then i will indeed plead with you to like subscribe and share this video let it go viral i'll leave this file in the description and it's a giveaway for you try this and then it's going to help you a lot and if you increase increase the loan amount so let's say twelve thousand. You can see everything has been adjusted as well. So this is a functional equated monthly installments. So this is just a simple application. You see, it's just a simple application that helps you to calculate amount someone will pay at the end of every month if the person take a loan from you. You can easily use this system to generate or this system to guide you and then know how much somebody is supposed to pay at the end of every month. Thank you so much for watching this short tutorial. To like, come your way again. Remember to like, subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Like this video. Please like this video. And then share so that it goes viral. Thank you so much. Like come your way again. Bye bye.